Okay? للنون الس للنون إن تسكون وللتنوين أربع أحكام فخذ تبييني. So there's four rules, but is it just four rules? No. It's four rules with some clarification. What's the clarification? Yell it out. One of them have two rules, and that's not yelling. You got to yell it out so the people on the camera can hear it. Okay, yes, one of them. So that's how many rules? Five rules in reality, right? The next one we need to know is what's the first rule? That's why we memorize. Before certain letters. What are they? So the letters of the throat. How many letters of the throat are there? Hamzun Fahaun. Now it says, Hamzun. He said, Rutibat. What does Rutibat mean? They're in order. He gave you the letters in order that they come up your throat. So it's Hamzun, Fahaun, Thumma Ainun, Haun, Muhammadani, Thumma Ainun, Khaun. Say, Ah. Sit up and say, Ah. You feel it down here, right? Ah. That's Hamzun. Say ha. ha. A little bit above that. Pulls your stomach in, right? Ha. ha. Hamzun for ha. Say ha. ha. Thuma, then say a. Say a. a. That's ain. Say ha. ha. It puts you up. Now say gha. gha. Now say kha. kha. You see that? Gha, kha. One is right above the other one. It's going to go till you get out your mouth. And then we can go further and say kha. And then ke. And then te. And there and mad till we get out the mouth. Going up the order of the letters. So he gave you one. That's why they call the throat. Because I, I went lower than my throat. I went to my stomach. But the point is, they come up your throat. And some people think that raw and kha are in the mouth. Say raw. That's really not your throat yet. Uh oh. I hit this thing. That's really not your throat yet, okay? Now, what it is, just to draw a picture of it, this is your throat. This is your Mr. Pez head or whatever they call it. Here it is over here. Wainun Khaun, okay? One is slightly above the other one. It's, this is still considered the throat area. You understand? This is the mouth. This is the mouth area. This is still the throat. So during that connection, that's where that is. Now. Now, we're going to see, the next thing we have to learn here or understand is how does Noon and Sakina and Tenween come? Noon and Sakina and Tenween come three different ways. They come in two different words, right? So Noon and Sakina and Tenween, Noon and the Tenween, they come in one word. They come between two words. Right? And they come, when it comes between two words, it comes as tanween and as the noon is sacking and the noon sacking. Let me give you an example. And we'll go through each one of those. Okay? When it comes in two words, it comes as, and when it comes in one word, it comes in two words. When it comes in two words, it comes two different ways. It comes as tenween, and it comes as noon sakina. Does that make sense? Maybe not, but it will after we write, okay? Everybody got me? You ready to follow? The first, sorry? Okay. The first letter is hamzun, right? Hamzun. That's a. Everybody say a. 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 So let's do it in one word. In one word, we would say, yen auna. Say that? Yen Now let's write it. This is with Hamza. Ham oh, subhanAllah, wa bihamdihi, subhanAllah, al azim I don't know. Oh, here it goes. So the first one is Hamza. Hamza. Everybody say Hamza. Okay, as a Hamza, we're going to have yen in one word. The first one we're looking for is one word. Yen, you with me? Say it. Yen. 
أونا يل أونا You see that? Yen Auna. Here is the ten here is the Nuna Sakina, right? Here is the Hamza. So this is how you would pronounce this word. Say Yen Auna. As a Hamza, now we're gonna have it between two words, okay? Everybody say Men Amena. Men Amena. You hear? Men, amena. You see that? Here it's clear. Yen auna. You guys gotta say it louder than that. Yen auna. You make sure you pronounce that noon. Then you say, men amena. Okay, and the other one would be, you would say, Rasulun amin. No, Rasulun. Amin. 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 Okay. Rasulun Amin. You have that? You guys understand? This is an example of Hamza using it in, in one word. Yan Auna. Say again. In two words. Men Amana. In between two words with the ten ween. Rasulun Amin. Rasulun Amin. That's the first one. Those are three examples. Okay? Now we go to the next one. The next one is ha. Everybody say ha. 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 The first example would be in one word, okay? And we would say here, Yanhauna. Yen, hauna. Yen, hauna. Yen, hauna. Different from yen, auna. Yen, hauna. Should be pretty easy for someone to say yen, auna, behamzi, and yen, hauna, behe. Okay? So, this is these examples that we're going to be giving you from the Qur'an. Then we have over here, between, in, in, in two words, we say, min had. Min, min had. say min. 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 Had. Had. Min had. Min had. We would say here like that. Min had. Min had. You see, you clarify. Min. 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 Min had. had. And now, in between two words, we would have, I mean, yeah, in two words, we would say, Salamun hi. Salamun hi. Salam. He goes, Salamun. He. he. Actually, it's he, yeah, but we're going to stop right here. Salamun hi. Salamun hi. This is how this one should be actually like that. That there's a difference how you write the tanween when you're making it for idhar and then when you're making it for idham or ikhfa or any of the other rules. Right now we go to that one. So we go again. For ha, say yan hauna. Then say min had. Salamun hi. And what you do, we'll get a third one in here first before we do that. The next one we would do is Ain. Everybody say Ain. Hamzun fa'aun tumma Ainun. Say Ain. So Ain, here we go. We write the Ain down. And this, you should write this down. Okay? You write this down. You copy because you get accustomed to it. Yes, most of these examples are in Juz Amma. So we try to recur those ones that everybody sees. One of the things we're trying to do is keep all the examples. Sometimes we couldn't, but keep as many examples in Juz Amma for, you know, Ya Umu Baraka, for more people to get accustomed to it because they read Juz Amma. Okay? So you, by writing it down, you bring another mind to it. Okay? You bring, and no, we're not going to tell you where every one of these ayat are from. It's, it's, it's past the point of our education here. Our education here is to teach you how to use the rule. As you read the Qur'an, as you should read the Qur'an every day, you'll run into these examples. Every day. Okay? 